But I do want to go to John Zogby right now. And, John, through the snow, or the predicted snow, uh, we're, we're getting to you. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um, I, I'm, so I'm, I'm, you've done some recent research on the division that is in the, in the country. And it's easy to say, well, okay, so it's, it's Republicans, Democrats. Uh, well, I don't know. There's a couple of divisions of Republicans and a couple of divisions of Democrats. But it even goes further than that. It almost is tribal. Uh, talk about this, what you, these, these distinct neo-tribes that you write about. Yeah, uh, you know, going back to 2009, we let people tell us their own stories, 4,000 people, uh, actual verbalizing their, their stories, what their motto is, their values, the most defining moments in their lives. Ultimately, over the course of years, uh, we found 11 distinct tribes based on attributes and, and values and personalities, and uh, they're very different. Uh, and yet we found crossover between them. So even though people could be very different, there are so many points of commonality. So let's look at some of the, the 11 tribes. Uh, the, there are the persistence, for example. These are people that told us that among the defining moments in their lives or, or was a horrible tragedy, um, uh, the, the tragic death of a, of a loved one, uh, a personal cancer or the loss of a limb, uh, and they they struggle to to survive and to to overcome. Hmm. You know, on the flip side of that, uh, the happy hedonists, you know, who seek fun um, and enjoyment, uh, eat, drink, and and be merry. Uh, the go with the flow, who uh, are very zen-like and seek balance and moderation. The the god squad are, are defined by their their faith. The creators are. The inventors and the the entrepreneurs, yeah. um, and uh, and so on. There are the outsiders. Those are people that just don't get along, don't fit in, and try to deal with life as uh, uh, they're they're kind of like Lenny Bruce and George Carlin mm, wannabe. Right, right. Uh, they, they're all and and you have a total of eleven here. I mean, it used to be well, this person's a libertarian, this person's conservative, this person's liberal. Uh, but uh, it, life really, it's life experience then that uh, that divides all that up into these groups. Yeah, e each of these groups cuts across demographics and ideologies. Yeah. Uh, you know, some of them tilt right and others tilt left, but there are still significant numbers of uh, uh, those who are uh, opposite within these tribes. That really, what makes up people or how people see themselves first and foremost uh, is is mainly in, in terms of their personality and and uh, the values that they share. Uh, so you take a, a category like God Squad. Um, yeah. Uh, does this cross? Uh, would I, I would say more Republican than Democrat, or is it uh, does it cross both parties? Well, I mean, it is more Republican than than it is Democrat. Yeah. But the important thing is that. You know, two out of three tell us we pay very close attention to eating nutritious food and um, and and prefer farm to table. Mm. Um, and so, there. Uh, in, in addition mm -hmm. to that, take the happy hedonists and the God Squad. Happy hedonists tell us that their second tribe is the God Squad. Uh, mm. So even though the happy hedonists uh, lean heavily. Democrat, there are points of, of overlap, what I call uh, in my book um, uh, tribal border crossings that I think we need to pay attention to. So a happy hedonist will say, you know, what keeps me up at night is the environment um, mm. and global warming. And a God Squad member will say, what keeps me up at night is man's stewardship of God's earth. Uh, Same thing, different language. And, and uh, you know, somebody has adversity in life, uh, a loss of a loved one, uh, oftentimes can be in that category of persistence. But but God becomes important because I, I find that happens a lot. People seek God when there's tragedy. Yep, absolutely. You know, so many people deal with it in different ways. Bottom line here is that even though there are these distinct tribes, my suggestion is that if there's a will and some leadership, um, 
you can find common languages to uh, enable the crossovers between even very different tribes and build uh, bridges and relationships. So what does this tell us about us uh, getting along uh, as a as a moving forward as a nation? It seems like we are so divided right now, nothing can get done. You know, I always look at things uh, in, in the reverse. And I said, no, the way things are currently constituted, no, we can't get anything done because we're emphasizing the wrong things. We're looking at for what divides and, and, and what splits. Uh, the reality of the situation is there are plenty of things. You go into Target, go into Dunkin' Donuts, you're going to see uh, people who are very diverse, right. very different, maybe even uh, politically at odds with each other, drinking the same coffee and buying mm. the same stuff. Okay. A, got to have to train ourselves to look at the commonalities, I think. So I don't know who is in the Republican Party right now in Congress, and uh, uh, so you wonder where does the health bill go based on, you know, you have the, the, the far right that's saying basically we just want to get rid of it, and then you have many others, and after the news yesterday about how many people are predicted to lose health care, what do you think is going to happen there? Nothing. Uh, I mean, there, the the split within the GOP is is so deep on this bill. You know, I recall simpler days when they used to propose a bill that had a chance of passing. The the column A that includes all of the groups, including pieces of the Republican Party that that uh, oppose this bill. They have to go back to the drawing board, and it took them so long. How many years did it come? Uh, did, it, did it take to get them to, to this point where it's being rejected within their own party? Yeah. Uh, your book, by the way, on tribal border crossings is We yeah. Are Many, We Are One, Neo Tribes and Tribal Analytics in the 21st Century America 2016. Uh, the book is out there, I'm assuming Amazon and all over the place. It is Amazon all over the place. All right, John, Amazon and all over the place. We appreciate it. <laughs> uh, John, John Zogby, Zogby Analytics.